After two decades of living and working in the United States, Aman Adineo was invited by the government of Ethiopia to set up the Ethiopia Commodity Exchange. As the founding chief operations officer of the institution, he realized there was little effort to have the complete coffee value chain under one entity. After his tour of service, instead of going back to the United States, he decided it was time to fill this gap in Ethiopia. He established Method Agricultural Development, PLC. Uh, we're showing it can be done. And, uh, just uh, two and a half years, uh, we're getting good reviews, good name, uh, uh, high demand for our coffee. Uh, we're a third generation coffee uh, um, family. Um, it's uh, great to pick up that baton again and uh, restart that vision of uh, coffee farm and coffee uh, business as a family business. Over 470 kilometers from Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, in the southern region of the country, lies an optimal environment for coffee production. In Guji, 75 kilometers beyond Yirgachafe, which is referred to as the birthplace of coffee, is the Hambela farm, close to 200 hectare piece of land dedicated to coffee production. The farm is managed by Method Agricultural Development PLC, a family-owned company. The grandparents of Aman Adineo and Tariku Adineo started the coffee business and now they want to bring this legacy back. This is huge for us. This is uh, what uh, giving back to the community means. Uh, it's easy to start a business in Addis or stay back in the U.S. Um, that's the easiest thing, uh, way out. But coming all the way here, working with the community, giving back, um, uh, um, changing the standard of living uh, of the uh, people. Uh, that's the main objective. Uh, coffee can be exported, you know, just can be purchased at ECX and exported. That's not we chose, that's one avenue. Uh, but uh, we chose to, uh, to participate in the entire value chain. Method decided to expand its production through engagement with outgrowers. Within four years, it has over 5,000 coffee farmers around Hambela region who are trained on how to produce quality coffee from the onset. Working directly with its outgrowers enables Method to control and maintain the high quality it offers to the market. These seeds are prepared from only red chassis collected and pulped in between tambis manual. Not to break the seeds. The farmers get seedlings for free and professional guidance from Method at every stage of their production process. During the harvest period, all outgrowers bring their harvests to the Hambella farm, and the farm becomes a hive of activities as coffee enters the next stage of production.
traditional way of doing it. 11 a.m. So, tolo, tolo or tomorrow night. Damma na mon. Lazif tolo nda idar kumi falla ke bata ani. Parchment to crack nda idar. This is washed coffee, by the way, guys. Ita taba mala tene. And tolo crack a raga mala. Quality ni bolo. Method uses an ultra modern, eco friendly wet mill to wash coffee and offers both washed and sun dried coffee. The dried coffee beans are then packed and stored in conducive environment, awaiting transportation to the capital, Addis Ababa. It is payday. Method outgrower farmers receive second payment, while at the same time receive post-harvest training. One way method ensures that outgrowers produce best coffee is by giving them pre- and post-harvest training in the community center it has built as well as on its farms and nurseries. premium as you know and then give uh, bonuses at the end of uh, the season uh, starting this year we're going to be certified uh, organic that's going to give them additional uh, premium on the price that's uh, shared with the with the outgrowers and the community and uh, because of this success by the way uh, the AGP program chose us to to replicate what we did in, in Hambala and in uh, Gadab AGP is a program uh, jointly run by USAID and uh, the Ministry of Agriculture. And it's a government-sponsored uh, project. So we're proud uh, uh, to be chosen and work with them. Bunna belela so lemanim manshetin maka kezim befiti nyang abrachu lebochi na chukezim befiti Kenya yegazu yalut ahun kena ahun kedim abro yemet ahu gabre yemet ahu ta lebo ta ruk silone wode salasa kilometer belay no yemet ahu ta ahun inna sum fil laga kaza salasa minamin kilometer temelal liche be grizi yemet ahu bener sula yal bener sula hisba chin tekim yemiare guchun aite ahun inem Gana awal mula tu kor korop itu serra, awal ni penting gaya serra awal ni nope, malah betul jamur kulla cho. Ah, lijo cho awal ni, ane lijo cho awal ni alu arat tu cuma lu timur tibet no, alu. Hulu timur tibet iya temaru no baka awal. Awal bet am telawat eh, kerja awal ni bunna eh, chicken bunna malah tu. Kaha geri tu ayer gari, kesema ami ami hono tu bunna eh, awal chicken ya chicken, iya seru le nyal le kebera cho, ya le enten iya teka papa lu no awal. Enten zi baka turu hune thalai ni awal, baka tesha jalan. The harvested coffee is then transported to Addis Ababa to be prepared for export. When we do that, we touch a lot of internal and external partners um, to manage that movement, uh, such as we have to deal with insurance companies to get into the, uh, when we transport the, the, the coffee. We have to deal with transportation companies by booking trucks and making sure that uh, the proper way of the coffee is uh, stored on the trucks and um, brought into Addis. In Addis Ababa, samples are taken to the method laboratory for quality check. This is the first and only private state-of-the-art certified coffee quality control lab in Africa. It is certified by the Speciality Coffee Association of America. We use our laboratory not only to check uh, all the coffees that we produce or uh, process. Uh, we all uh, also uh, uh, test coffees for uh, third parties. They, they actually contract us to check their uh, coffee, whether they're growers or buyers. We, we, we uh, check the quality for them and give them a recommendation based on that uh, the result of the test. The other thing we use the laboratory is uh, to uh, certify uh, uh, coffees, Q certify, because Matad is uh, the uh, in-country partner for Coffee Quality Institute, it's called the CQI in uh, Portland. 
in the US. Um, so basically, um, buyers require uh, Q certified coffee um, in some cases. So uh, the exporters or growers come to us and we certify the coffee. That gives them an additional uh, value, by the way, when they have a certificate, they can market it uh, better and it's marketed at the CQI website as well. Not, uh, they're not alone, they have an additional ammunition to sell their coffees. Um, the lab is always, uh, also used to train uh, just cupping uh, and we're certified to train Q graders, uh, up to 12 students. The first thing is just uh, uh, analyzing coffee at the green stage. That means we have uh, primary defect and secondary defect. So we categorize these defects into, then we sort out uh, every defect from each sample. So after sort out these defects, uh, we count and we give uh, some uh, score. After uh, green analysis, there is a roast analysis. Uh, so uh, during roasting, you, we have to follow each activity, like uh, the timing, uh, most coffee should be roasted in the range of uh, 8 to 12 uh, minutes. Then after roasting, there is a roast analyzer. So we have to check whether it is a medium, or light or dark. So uh, mostly for laboratory purpose, we use uh, a medium roast. So uh, this medium roast can show us uh, good uh, uh, characters of the coffee. And when all quality is proven, the clean coffee is packed with clear indication of where the coffee came from. A buyer in a foreign country can easily trace the farmer of the coffee. Once the coffee is ready to export, we have the documentation ready to do. We stuff all of our coffees here in Addis Ababa into the container and the coffees are sealed in the container here in Addis. Why is that important? Um, it's critical for us, again, to maintain the quality of the coffee, making sure that there is no tampering of the coffee and en route to Djibouti from Addis Ababa. Uh, also, that would eliminate any um, potential issues from weather-related um, or even theft of coffee en route from Addis to uh, Djibouti. Because of our success in uh, Hamballa, uh, the Minister of Agriculture and uh, USAID's program, AGP program, uh, selected us, uh, invited us to participate, to compete uh, for the Irgacha Fegedeb project, which we won. And that's how we get started. Uh, we got started in, uh, at the uh, Irgacha Fegedeb site. Over the years, Method has built a network of international clients who appreciate the consistent quality coffee that they receive from Ethiopia. Their coffees, we buy more uh, Ethiopian from Matad than anyone, um, and um, typically are one of our most popular offerings. Uh, their coffees uh, continually cut better and better every year, and they already started cupping great at the beginning, so um, it's great to see that um, they always have very clean, nice floral, big fruit cups, and at the same time, they're not happy with the quality. They're always pushing forward, uh, which is always a good sign. And so uh, to us, every year we buy coffee, we, um, we get a little bit of improvement every time, which, uh, you know, someone that is not just satisfied and having already amazing coffee is, is really special. You know, oftentimes, quality is something that people talk about in the abstract and it's a an abstract goal that may be second or third or fourth on the list of priorities for metad it's uh, a clear and tangible goal it's an explicit goal and it's at the top of the list uh, and that's reflected in the way they operate it's reflected in the way they set up the business from the beginning it's reflected in the way they treat the coffees and the lengths to which they go to try to um, implement quality control at each step. The people that they are representing in Hambella and in Greater Guji really do feel like they're a part of a bigger community. And I think that's really important because in this area, 
they never felt that before. You know, farmers were really spread out and um, buyers were very far away. There certainly wasn't a lot of traceability in the area, in my experience at least. Um, so to see what they've done and, um, you know, by virtue of being such a good business, just motivating people to levels that they didn't think possible, um, that's been really special to see and to feel like I've participated as one of their buyers. Because of our uh, hard work at the, at the two farms and uh, our contribution to the community, the government uh, presented us uh, with awards two years in a row and we're very uh, proud of that achievement. Method has won the Good Food Award with many of its coffee varieties competing with coffee varieties from around the world. From 2057 coffee from around the world competing for the Good Food Award, 27 awards went to the finals. 11 of the finalists were Method Coffee. Out of the 27, the 15 received Gold Award. Again, of the Gold Award winners, six were Methods. Back in the farm, Method PLC continues being part of the community beyond just coffee production. It is supporting 800 students to get education and further offering scholarship to 105 university students from financially disadvantaged background. We pay uh, some of the teachers' salaries. Uh, we uh, ask the community uh, uh, where they need help and uh, as much as we can we try to oblige. Uh, in one of the peasant associations, for example, what we call Kabale, uh, we're building a community center uh, as per their request. So people uh, have a center to go to for meetings, for uh, trainings, for so many things. And we will use it for our uh, outgrowth training as well. The journey to produce quality coffee is a continuous one for Method, as it works hard to ensure that Ethiopian coffee reaches the highest level possible of best coffee in the global market. This will not only mean better business for Method, but also better income for the outgrowers who are behind this quality growth. Method! 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 Method!